Hey guys, in this video, we'll look into how to draw a house in the woods. And I already have sketched out an idea of what I think this house should look like. And now I have a choice of either taking it a step further and sketching the whole perspective and the whole composition, or what I did instead is I took this into SketchUp to develop it in a bit more detail. Okay, now that the house is finished in the SketchUp, I can now add more details to this house and I can also draw context around it. Now, context for the house is super important because in this case, it drives the design. The house is located on a slope surface and it's facing outwards. So therefore there is this uh, projection that coming out of the main volume of the house looking out. And then we have the viewpoint position, which is slightly below where it typically is. And this is just to add to the drama of the composition and to make the house look bigger than it is. There are also the trees that are pointing out. So it drives the view sort of from the bottom up vertically. It emphasizes the kind of the tallness of the house. So I've done this uh, drawing in two passes. The first pass, was really about adding the basic necessary detail, positioning the trees, adding these trusses to the projecting volume in the front of the house, and then also testing the texture. I've also added this new thing that I didn't have in a SketchUp, which is kind of a projection inwards at the corner of the house, um, which is the kind of entrance into it and protects you from the rain and elements when the weather is rough outside. There's also a stair that leads the person out. So this is the back of the house. The front will be slightly different with probably a driveway and the main entrance, whereas this is more informal passage from the rear of the house. So the second pass is really about refining the detail. It's adding more emphasis to the trees, to the texture, and to the elements that are already covered previously. And then after the main volume is sketched out, you know, I'm happy with the level of detail, then we can start adding the color. And the color is quite important in this case, in my opinion, because we are in the forest and every time we see a foliage outside, there is a variation of color. So this is why I wanted to replicate in this drawing as well. I wanted to put the higher intensity color to the foreground in the grass, for example, and then reduce the intensity and add interest to the, the trees that are located at the back. So I have this tint of yellow just to have a difference in the color to the trees, but also to convey an illusion of depth that they're further back in the background. And lastly, it's about adding the shadow, again, just to make the drawing pop a little bit and emphasize the volumetric arrangement of the house. And again, adding to the dramatic effect that the sun is shining from above towards the projection of this house. And then lastly, the sky is added with a soft pastel to the background, just to ground the composition. If you like this video, there's also another video that I made on how to draw a residential house in a field. And in this video, I talk about how to take the SketchUp model and then render it in the Procreate. So I encourage you to check that video out and I'll see you in the next one.